Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to scroll down and subscribe. Um, I'm so exhausted today and I was going to be lazy and not film this um, eye tutorial, but I really do like to try to get two videos up um, a week, Sunday and Monday, or two on Sunday. So I did film earlier this week, so I was like, what the heck, I won't have time to do it tomorrow or this weekend. So I was like, let me get it done. Um, anyways, if you guys seen from the thimble, you must have liked the eye look, so you clicked on the video. Um, we're going to be doing a nice holiday, um, kind of fall look. Very simple, very easy, step-by-step -step talk through. Um, there's some of you that have requested to see a video like this. I have already put my face on, as you can see, um... I've primed my eyes, and I just use Fergie Wet n Wild Eye Primer, nothing special, cheap drugstore eye primer. You can use whatever you like. So if you are interested in this eye look, please stay tuned to check it out. Okay, so first we're going to start off with our 130 Professional um, Beauty Treats Palette. It looks like this. Gonna get this open here. It is not easy to open. Okay, so as you can see, we got a ton of colors here to choose from. And I'm going to be using uh just like a regular wet and wild um kind of like blending brush, just a nice thick brush. And we're gonna start off with a base for our eyes. So the color that I'm going to be using for my base is going to be this like orangey color right there. And this is going to kind of be like our transition color for our eyes. You can not do this or you can. So I'm starting in on the eyelid here and I'm just buffing that in. All. Oops. Got a little bit pink there. All over the lid, all the way up to the eyebrow and the corner. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye, just buffing that all in, all over the lid. And as you can see, it's just like a nude tone color. But like I said, we want a nice transition color. So you don't have to do that nicely or anything like that. Okay, the next brush that I'm going to be going in with is a um, Sona Kasha. It's a crease brush. And I really, really, really want to get like a nice dark crease going. So the color that I'm going to be going in with is going to be this orangey brown kind of color it's nice and dark get that on the brush and then I like to just kind of tap my brush a little bit so you want to go in the crease line just like this and just really buff that in there and to create a very nice crease it does take time so don't rush yourself just keep going back and forth in the crease line above the eyelid like so and if you get the edges a little bit darker like that's really okay um because that's kind of how you want it anyways you kind of want the outline to be just a little bit darker so just keep going in you can just keep packing that eyeshadow in there and as you see we're getting like a nice eyelid crease going so we're going to do the same thing on the other eye, just buff that in the crease area, back and forth like a windshield wiper motion. Get a little more product and go back in. And lately, I have really been feeling these fall holiday looks. Like, I'm actually so excited for the holidays um, because I feel like glitter is so appropriate, which we're going to be using something with some glitter in it today. Um, 
And I'm usually not a glitter girl, but it is something with this holiday season. Like, every time I'm at the store, I see glitter, and I'm like, yes, I just want to use glitter. So, we're going to keep going back and forth like that. And then, just like so, I'm going to just wipe that off a little bit. I'm going to go in with this color right next to it, which is another dark brown orange color and I'm going to go back in the crease line over that just to give it a little more color a little more emphasis boy I'm so tired I cannot talk just to really brighten that up kind of darken it up whatever give it some pop you know what I mean guys and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and we're trying to make this, like, as simple as possible because there are some of you guys out there that don't get into the complicated eye looks or too dramatic. Now, this is going to probably be a little dramatic because it's me and my word. We all know that I like a dramatic eye. Uh, I'm so sorry. My nose is running. Okay. So now that we have that look going right there, I'm going to just take another Sonakasha brush, and it's like flat tipped, and I'm going to go in with this very pretty orangey um, glitter tone. It's a shimmer tone, and I'm just going to get that on the brush, pack that on there nice and good, and we're going to go in on the lid, and we're just going to pack it on the lid like so. See how like orange and pigmented that is? really get that on the lid in this open space like that. I'm going to get a little bit more just because I like a heavy look. You can do it as light as you want to do it. But that's very easy. And pack it on the other eye. Now if you get a little bit towards the crease that's okay because you can always go back in with your crease brush over that and kind of just touch it up. But I say really pack on the color. Why not? Like so. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to go back in with our crease brush and kind of just go back over my crease area because I really 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 want that to stand out and I did kind of take the orange up a little bit far so I'm just going back over that really quick you guys don't have to but this is just what I like what I prefer do what makes you happy girl and then I'm going to take and go right next to that with another like glitter orange looking kind of color. Now, it, the glitter doesn't really, really stick. It doesn't really stay. I'm packing that on the eyelid as well. Um, so that's why I'm going to kind of go in with some glitter. But this is like a more shimmer shade versus the, the matte shades that we've put in the crease. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to take this um, very tiny Sonakasha brush and I'm going to go in with this very taupey cream color. I hope you guys can see that. And I'm going to get that nice and good on the brush and we're going to just go up here by the eyebrow. Just to really make that pop. And I like to go all the way across my eyebrow at the top. Just kind of give it a little more color up there. Like so. A little more on this eye over here. Okay. So we're going to put that palette to the side. And next for the glitter, we're going to do um, a MAC pigment color in the color Rose. 
and it just looks like that. And I don't really use these too often because I don't really feel like... <sighs> Excuse me, I just spilled that. I don't really feel like it gives me the pigment that I want, but right now that's what I have, so that's what I'm working with. And then I'm going to take this Sona Kasha, a nice um, flat brush, and I'm going to spray it with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. And it's um, with aloe, green tea, and cucumber, vitamins A, C, and E. And you guys can use whatever um, setting spray you have. This is just the one that I have. And I put some of the pigment in the lid here to kind of make it a little bit easier. And I'm tapping off my brush so we don't have a ton of fallout. We will have some, I'm sure. And I'm going to go in and kind of pack that on the lid like so just to give us some glitter a little bit of glam see I feel like you really have to like pack it on and there's just some glitters that you don't have to put forth any type of effort at all to get it on Did you see that that we got going on there and same thing with this eye. We're just going to go in and really pack that glitter on back and forth. Use as much as you like. I really like this color. I feel like it is a very nice rosy gold color. True to what they say on the package, I just wish that it wasn't so difficult to really get it on, but that's okay. Okay, so we have that on. Oh my word, I am spilling the just, I gotta close this up. I'm spilling it everywhere. Let me wipe off my table real quick. Sorry about that. Good thing I got a cloth up here. So there's our glitter. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm just going to take my, um, just my, uh, foundation powder brush that I had earlier, and I'm just going to kind of, like, dust off where we had some fallout, like so. Okay, next we are going to, we're ready to line our, li um, line our eye. And I'm just using the, um, L'Oreal Paris Superstar Liquid Eyeliner. And, um... Just gonna do a simple wing here. I like to start in the out in the outer corner and go in and kind of just drag that out. Give it a nice pointed wing, like so. See. Just a nice simple wing. Nothing too crazy today. Because you know sometimes I like a nice dramatic wing. But we're going to stay simple because I promised easy and simple today. But yet and still very gorgeous. Okay. So... That is our, let me just touch that up real quick before I tell you that's our finished wing. And drag this side out just a little tiny bit more. Now there's some people that like to use the tape technique and sometimes I do use that technique and I can do a video tutorial for that if you guys want to see that. Um... But today, I'm just trying to be very simple. Okay, now I'm back to the thin Sona Kasha brush. See how thin that is? And I want to go in with a little bit of a white cream pencil. And this one is just a Wet n Wild um, Fantasy Makers cream pencil. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of that on the brush. And I'm using that for the waterline. And the reason why I'm using, excuse me, just white down here 
instead of what I would normally use, like a black or something, is because we just want this to be really simple. So we're going to go in with a shadow. Get a little bit more. And just line that real quick. It doesn't have to, like, be super bright or anything like that. You just want to get a little something down there for that to stick. Wipe my brush off. And I'm going to go back to my um, Beauty Treats Professional Palette. And I'm going to go in with this very deep red and collect some of that on the brush. And just go down here in the waterline. And just take that back and forth. You want to kind of pack that on there. Because I figured with this type of eye, why not finish it off with a lovely red pop for the holiday. It's gorgeous. And I love red. Love, love, love it. So there's that. I see where I need to touch up on my eye with my liner here. Because my eye is going crazy and watering today, which is not good for the tutorial that we're trying to get done here. I'm sorry, guys. i got to go in with my glitter just real quick and just touch up. There we go. No shame in having to touch up, huh? No shame in getting it looking nice. Okay, now to the mascara. Now, normally I do apply eyelashes, but I am not applying eyelashes for this video because a lot of people, a lot of you guys I know, don't wear them. And this is just a simple, simple eye look. Anyways, I'm going on with the NYX Zaza Zoo um, mascara. And I'm sorry that I just pumped the crap out of my mascara. Don't do that. Um, I don't have, like, long, pretty, full eyelashes, and that is why I like to use, um, falsies. But like I said, for such a simple eye video, I'm not going to be doing that today. Now, if you guys want to see a more in-depth video, please let me know. Leave me some comments, and I will be happy to do that for you. Um, but like I said, this video was a request for a very simple eye look. So there we go. We got that applied. And then next thing, we're on to the lips. I'm using an NK lip pencil in the color red. And I believe that I got this from, like, the dollar store. I'm just going to line my lips real good. And I just line pretty quickly because I have, like, really big, full lips. And I mean, like, how can you, how can you miss any of it? Like so... Fill in my lips a little bit. Okay, and then the lipstick we're using is the NYX, otherwise NYX, Matte Rouge Lipstick in the color Alabama, which I have not used yet, but it is a gorgeous, like, brick red. Ah, so pretty. Yes. Love it. And here we go, guys. Our completed glam, fabulous look of today. Very simple, made easy eye look. I hope that this video was easy for you guys. I hope that this helped you out. Let me know what else you want to see. Leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. All right, guys. I need to go get some rest. So you guys have an awesome day. Next video. See you next video. Bye.